The DESA Consortium is an um, international non-for-profit organization that was started uh, a little more than a decade ago, uh, consisting of primarily of libraries and similar agencies that provide um, information to, to the print disabled population. So what we've done during the, the last 10 years is to bring forward uh, an international standard uh, for the digital talking book, also often referred to as the DAISY book. And this has been in the access, uh, information access technology industry, a, a big revolution. Uh, it's been um, described as one of the most successful um, information access technologies in, in modern time. So what we have today in DAISY is an international network, an infrastructure of almost a hundred organizations today that all base their information, accessible information provision on the DAISY standard. Okay, great. So what are actually, what exactly are we announcing today? What is the uh, big announcement we're making? Well, so we are going to be kicking off a partnership uh, with DAISY where we will be converting our new open document standard, open XML, to the DAISY Intermediate being DAISY XML. So we are going to, on SourceForge, launch a project starting today that will provide um, guidance on our, all the development we'll be doing. And this will be a free plugin that's available for Word 2003, XP, and 2007. And because it's on SourceForge, um, other people will be able to use this as a reference for their projects that they may want to do as well. Yeah. Mm, so who does this technology really help? Yeah, so I think it helps the uh, the print disability community, and that community uh, spawns a lot of things. I don't know if you want to talk to that, Marcus. Yeah, print disability is is a complicated term, and what you really mean by it varies a bit among among uh, cultures and legislations. But typically, you include uh, people that are blind, uh, low vision, um, dyslectic, cognitive disabilities, and learning disabilities in that group. And you start to think about who this can help. I mean, you have the blind, which is very obvious, and we think about the uh, Daisy Talking Book, which is by far the most popular application of this, but you also have things like Braille and structured text. And then you also move into groups, especially in developing countries, around things like illiteracy. And any time that you can combine this sort of text with an audio playback, and because they have, Daisy has uh, players and languages all around the world, the aid to these sorts of uh, populations can be incredible. So basically what we are announcing is uh, a way to take our open XML standard mm -hmm. and have a converter for that so it actually totally uh, interacts with all the software approach that the DAISY co uh, consortium has. Right. And oh, that's Absolutely. really cool. And what's really great about this is because yeah. we're putting it into Word, one of the challenges that DAISY faces today is that the cost of production can be prohibitively high moving this sort of technology into Word mm -hmm. in a structure mm -hmm. that is something that people are familiar with. So today you save as a DOC or DOCX, now you'll be able to save as daily. So it's a concept that's much simpler and makes the production of this material much easier. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, um, so what are the benefits of the partnership? Well, for, for us, it's, as, as Reid mentioned, the one of the major obstacles that the providers of this kind of information have today is, is cost, right? The, um, the demand is much higher than the supply rate has been all over the world. This holds true in developing and developed countries. So what we want to see and, and what we want need more of in order to increase productivity is exactly this kind of, of event where you see uh, a simplification of, of the production process being brought into to general packages like Office. Yeah. Yeah. So from our perspective we're we are very happy about this of course and we're also hoping that it sets a, a precedent that, that other vendors in, in the same situation as Microsoft uh, will, will follow suit and do the same thing. Um, do a thing that makes a lot of sense both from, from a business and a democracy perspective. Yeah, so Reed, basically because you are publishing this on SoundForge, other vendors can easily pick up the work you're doing there and see what we're doing to actually help the DAISY consortium, right? right? Yeah, and so the benefits for us are meaningful, right? I mean, we have our new open document standard and these, this is the kind of great work that we can do. And this is going to serve as a great reference for other people that want to be able to take advantage of this interoperability. 
but it also demonstrates the commitment that Microsoft has to accessibility. And I think you'll see it with SharePoint announcements we've done around the SharePoint toolkits that are open, the new UIA partnership with Novell, and now this with Daisy. Moving towards this open source world with accessibility is something that we'll definitely be doing more of in the future. So. Great, great. So in closing, what are websites that we can point people to if they want more information? Absolutely. Um, Daisy.org is the homepage for the Daisy Consortium. You can get lots of background on the history, on the files, on the tools they have available today. Uh, if you go up to SourceForge later today, you'll actually be SourceForge.net. You'll be able to pull up the information on the project. And then just for general accessibility reading, Microsoft.com uh, slash enable is a great site to go up, get a background on legislation, uh, basic disabilities, and um, all sorts of things so that you can learn more about this. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time, for this interview. And uh, well, good luck with the whole partnership. Thank you very much.